morning all shiny shove and um, I'm in the car because I was trying desperately to find or rather I was trying to do the video um, <laughs> from the uh, from the house and read a poem alongside but I was trying to do it off on online and sometimes you just have to go to the book in itself so today's shiny shove is brought to you by Alice Walker uh, via me and um, really, it's when we have, um, sorry, you've just fallen down, when we have major emotions that actually sort of come along, then actually there's quite a lot that needs to happen. And I find that this poem is the thing that that actually makes that happen. So whenever you're experiencing something major that's happening in your world, this is my go-to that reminds me what's actually happening. So, How Poems Are Made, A Discredited View by Alice Walker. Letting go in order to hold on, I gradually understand how poems are made. There is a place the fear must go. There is a place the choice must go. There is a place the love must go. I've done that wrong. I'm going to do it again. Letting go in order to hold on, I gradually understand how poems are made. There is a place the fear must go. There is a place the choice must go. There is a place the loss must go. The leftover love, the love that spills out of the two full cups and runs and hides its too full self in shame. I gradually understand how poems are made. To the upbeat flight of memories, to the flagged beats of the running heart. I understand how poems are made. They are the tears that season the smile, the stiff, neck, the stiff neck laughter that crowds the throat, the leftover love. I know how poems are made. There is a place the loss must go. There is a place the gain must go, the leftover love. And so whilst this shiny shove is specifically aimed at at least one of the people in my life who is going through quite a lot of change right now, um, it's actually for all of us. When we experience so much emotion that's actually kind of welling up inside us, whether it's joyful, whether it's sad, or whatever other label you're putting on it, um, there is a place that those things can go and for me that's about grabbing a pen and a piece of paper and pulling or letting the thoughts kind of gush onto a page and allowing yourself to express in whatever way you need to the leftover love that actually is then expressed even if just to yourself so that's my invitation my shiny shove for this morning uh, Alice Walker and I wish for you to share, even if it's on a page, what you're feeling so that you remain clean and clear for the day. Many blessings, have a wonderful day, and I will catch you tomorrow.